So to round off our end of season player reviews of our defenders, let's talk about Matty Target. What do you make of his season, Clive? Well, two distinctive halves, really. He he got a bit slaughtered by some of our fans at the start of the season when he came in, which I thought was a bit unjust because he's only 20. He's one of our own. He gives his all. I can remember him making his debut up at Stoke in the League Cup and he stood up to Walters who tried to beat him up that night. Mm. And, and he also provided a threat going forward. So I, I think Matt's got a fair bit to offer. Maybe he found... Where he found his niche was in front of Ryan Bertrand. Yeah. I can't remember exactly which game it was. Again, one of Ronald's team sheets came out and the fans before the game are thinking, oh, that's, that, that don't figure, yeah. that don't figure. But it did figure and it was such so strong for a few games. Yeah. I thought he was going to stick with it for the rest of the season, but yeah. for whatever reason, I can't remember he got a knock or he, Ronald changed selection, but it, um, that really worked for a while. And, and he's a decent, he's, he's got a decent cross on him. He's yeah. got a decent cross yeah. on him, you know, and, and, and he can ping a ball. Yeah, Matty Target, we haven't got many youngsters. Really, realistically, it's just Matty and James Ward-Prowse at the moment in terms of first-team opportunities. And I, I guess, I don't know, I mean, has Matt played more than Ward-Prowse? Or I can't remember, but yeah. I think he's done well. A big plus for Matty this season, a big plus. So, Nick, we've seen a dramatic improvement in his game this season. He broke into the first team. What do you make of his season? Well, I agree with Clive. Matt Target seems to become one of those players that a certain section of the crowd love to hate. I mean, Pella has been one. Pella's been sort of leading scorer, including joint leading scorer this season for two years. And there's people who scream abuse of him at games. And Matt Target was the same. I mean, again, I come back to the start of the season. Matt Target had to come in because Ryan Bertrand was injured. We were having to play Yoshida at centre half. We had, and, and literally out of the back four and the goalkeeper, only Jose Fonte had any real experience in the Premier League and you know Target had come in and played sort of four games the previous year in the league played some good games in the League Cup in that year um, and he came in and he didn't do a bad job but what he didn't have was the protection in front of him I think it was Duzan Tadic in front of him who's not noted for his getting back and defending and getting there so many times you know Target found himself two on one, yeah. and some of the some of the people who maybe don't really understand the game, it, it, which I may be being unfair, but I'm going to say it, we're screaming at him, and it's not his fault that the man in front of him is not providing the cover. Um, he's a different type of fullback than Bertrand. He, he's not as pacey as Bertrand, so he, in that situation, he couldn't get out of trouble. As perhaps Ryan Bertrand could, but he is probably one of the best crossers of the ball and users of the ball in the club. You know, he won't get up the line, but he can put a 50-yard ball straight along the line for people to run the channels. And he's 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 provided a couple of good goals. I think it was it was it against Watford at home. He put in a cross for Shane Long. You know, couldn't miss from almost. He was, he was rewarded with that with those fine performances for the Player of the Month. I think it was for January or February. Yeah, and and he won. He did win over a few people later on in the season. It was great. He's got a great future at this club, and you know we, we shouldn't abuse young. We shouldn't abuse any player in a Saint shirt where we're on the pitch. We've all got our opinions off it, and opinions are for website message boards there for the ugly inside video channel and they're for you know strong letters to the echo uh but they are not for screaming abuse at during players a during a game well yeah i think it's very difficult very difficult for some people to apprehend that playing for the under 21s and, and being outstanding and then going into the first team is a very different kettle of fish it's all about confidence and feeling wanted feeling belonging to that team, belonging to that level. And I think he's achieved that. Maybe it's taken a little while to do it, but he's achieved it. And I really think, like Nick, I think he's got a great future here. To summarise his, his season out of 10, what do you give him? I give him seven. I give him seven. I think there's a lot more to come from Matty. And he's got there. He's got there. You know, he's got to that. He's got to the first team level. And I, I like him. I like his attitude. I really like his attitude. He's a fighter. Nick, what would you give him out of 10? Yeah, I'm going to go with Clive there, 7 out of 10. He's one for the future. Unfortunately, when you have homegrown players, they're not always appreciated. You know, because you, you see them come into the team uh, when they're raw and not the finished article, unlike when you get players in when they're 23, 24, who are, are the finished article. So therefore, the crowd tends to get on their back a bit. And that was the case with Matt. Uh, 
he'll be a long stay of this club for many, many years. Yeah. So there we have it, guys. Let us know in the comments below. I think I'll certainly agree with the 7 out of 10 for Matty Target, one to watch in the future, and hopefully we'll see him appear more times next season in a red and white shirt. Subscribe for more. Now's your chance to win yourself a very own Ugly Inside t-shirt, Northern Soul, or a red and white machine t-shirt. All you've got to do is make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel and just leave us a comment in any single video and we'll pick out one of our favourites in a couple of weeks' time.